All right, congratulations, you made it this far. You are now in Tinkercad, so let's go ahead and get started. We want a new design, right? We want a new 3D design. So let's go to new design under the 3D tab, three dimensions uh, design set. We are going to take a look at the icons on the left-hand side. These are for navigating. And then we are going to look at both bands up here with uh, plenty of icons that can do a lot of neat little tricks for us. And finally, we're gonna look at the right side with the shapes and the work plane. Right, so uh, in order to move our uh, work plane, this uh, blue work plane, uh, the blue board that we will be using, you can, uh, as I said, with a, with a uh, mouse, or if you are using the touchpad, you right click and hold, and you are able to uh, move, whether it's a cursor or uh, the mouse, and you should be able to see all the way around. You can also do it with the with the view cube up here. You can either press the individual location of where you want to see, or you can just click and hold the left button, and you can uh, either with your cursor or the mouse move it 360 degrees. So you can see the top, bottom view, uh, left, right, uh, front, back, okay? And this is gonna help us a lot when we start uh, building because we need to see all the way around us to get back to the home view. Obviously, you just click on the other little house right here and it should take you back to it. To zoom in and out, uh, you could do one of three ways. Uh, you, can, you can, if you have a mouse, you can just use the, uh, the the scrolling wheel in the middle. If you scroll up, it'll zoom in. Uh, similarly, if you scroll back, it'll zoom out. If you are using these uh, these uh, plus or minus icons on the left, you can zoom in and out with those. Or you can do it on your touchpad by putting two fingers down and moving up to zoom in or down to zoom down uh, to zoom out on the touchpad. Uh, I would recommend you do it nice and easy and slow because if you do it really fast, it'll zoom in or zoom out really quickly. So let's go ahead to the top tier, the top uh, band. And all the way at the left, we see the Tinkercad logo. Uh, if you click on that one, it'll take you back to the, uh, to the, to the home screen where we're at. The design we were working on is this one, so it's the first one right off the bat. And uh, if we want to keep working on it, we just tinker this, which works uh, with the next uh, the next icon actually, which is to uh, to go see the recent designs. And in this one, it'll show you um, what you had been working on previously, and it gives you the option to also either keep working on it, as in tinker this or to change uh, some settings, for example, the title of uh, your design, or if you want to set it to public so everyone can see it, or private so that only you can see it, um, and also the type of licensing you want to use. Here, the next one item, uh, the next item to the, to the right of it is uh, the title. Let's call this one Trial 1, just because we are trying it out. And uh, now uh, it'll, it'll automatically save as a Trial 1. On the opposite side, you will see this uh, three by three grid. That is to work in 3D designs. If we want to work with uh, uh, Minecraft like cubes, uh, we, would, we would go under this uh, feature. They're a little more complicated, but they're still just as fun. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're not going to be using those very much in this class. Uh, neither are the, the, the Lego like bricks. Um, this fourth icon is to invite people. This one uh, you might be using in this class, and this is to generate a new link. Once you generate this link, you copy it and you can share it with somebody else via email or our IM, and uh, you are able to invite them to work with you in, on a real time. So uh, everything they do and you do will change simultaneously on the design. So this is great for collaboration. Let me just bring in one item so that we can turn these on. Notice how they were off, as in they were uh, in a light gray. We couldn't really do much with them. But once we brought a shape in, they were activated. They lit up, they became darker. So uh, the first one is to copy. 
and this is to copy the shape not necessarily just this one but whatever you whatever you choose to copy and the next one the clipboard is to paste again you can use uh keyboard sh shortcuts to uh facilitate the movement and uh copy and paste are basically used for when you're trying to get something from another design over years right if it's just within here then i would say i would recommend using uh duplicate which is uh the, the square that seems to be trailing off in the background so once you duplicate the other one's right on top of it and then you can continue to duplicate as many as you want the garbage can is to delete obviously uh, control z and control uh y are to undo redo undo redo all the way on the opposite side of the same band you're gonna we're gonna focus on these uh five uh, icons right now the first one is to this one's to show all the second one is to group items meaning that you are fusing them together you're kind of like gluing them together you are making them into one whole piece uh and notice that group and ungroup have uh the same silhouette except for the inside is different in ungroup you can see the circle on top of the square whereas in the group one the one on the left you cannot see it it's and that is because everything is into one shape the fourth icon is to align meaning that this is how you you put things in in uh, the outside if we're bringing it from let's say the internet it's got to be an svg file if we are importing from within tinkercad it is also possible uh exporting exporting is to take out to bring out and uh the most common one that we're going to use for 3d printing to export into a 3d printer will be the stl file and send to is how you are going to uh submit work to me to the teacher and that is by uh clicking on this icon to download locally and when we download locally all right underneath it we have two uh very special uh tools work plane work plane allows us to bring in a new work plane that we can uh set on top of or on the side of or at any angle depending on where you want to work from this way whatever else you put is automatically in there with the ruler we're able to better align our stuff and keep keep track of uh, the distance between our items down here we will see all of these uh, basic shapes cylinders cones spheres uh, roofs semicircles even hearts and, and uh, stars all we have to do is bring them over and then we can work with them if we use this drop down menu we can find more shapes for example we can see text and numbers or we can uh use under shape generators we go to feature uh because these are easy to manipulate and they give you great uh great shapes that you that you never knew existed uh and speaking of shapes whenever you bring one over you will see that this window pops up which we will talk more in uh in the next video all right so today we went over how to navigate the work plane how to use basic, basic commands and uh the shapes in our tinkercad all right so we'll see you on the next one bye